Hi, welcome to another Mr. Rogers screencast. This one's on using Soundtrap to make some podcasts. And uh, it's an online tool that I just started using more and I can't recommend it enough. It's a pretty fabulous way to make easy podcasts and collaborate online with people all over the world. All right, so once you get logged into Soundtrap, you'll see some basic options here, your past podcasts, um, and it's also really designed for music and has a great way to record a lot of features that are similar to GarageBand or other um, music classes as well as uh, journalism podcast type shows. All right, so you'll click enter the studio and then there'll be a several different options what you want to do. Um, a fun project to start off class, you can just have them make some different songs and dub steps and trip hop and all the different loop samples to do to get started. But today we're going to do a podcast here and it will load a beautiful tutorial here on how to do a podcast, but I'm going to delete their beautiful tutorial and do my own little podcast for you. And they have some nice loops here. I'll play them for you, but not my favorite. So if you go over here, um, this is where you'll be selecting the different loops if you want to play some different music for your podcast. Then also a great function is that you can invite your best friend or musician to co-create one together, email them, video chat, and record tracks together. Alright, I sadly don't have any friends today, but I am going to put some different music on there. I'm not a big fan of those, so I'll just click on them and delete the ones that they have. And then I'm going to go into some pop music as my daughter has me listening to Kids Bop all the time. I can preview them. It's a nice little bass beat. Try another one. Hmm. Let's go with, this one sounds good. I gotta make sure I put it in on a music one, not an orchestra one. You can see there's my little beat. But I'm also going to go to sound effects. I really like to put a little sound effect in, kind of like BBC News at the beginning of it. So people kind of get that in their brain. Every time one of these goes on, that's a little bit long. I'm going to edit that down. Oh, that's a little short. And one way you can do that too, if I wanted just to go in front here, I'm actually going to delete that and drag and drop right here in front. And it'll put it right there at the beginning. Let's try that out. All right, so I got some music. I'm going to edit that. I'm going to fade it out at the end. You can also auto-tune and some other pretty sweet functions. All right, now I'm ready to record some of my podcast. So I'm going to go down and click on track one. That'll be me if you had a buddy in here, and that would be track two. On the other big tip, you do need headphones. So you'll get a lot of bad feedback if you're not doing headphones. I'm going to hit record. I'm going to say, I am using my headphones. Thank you, SoundCloud. It's getting me ready here. All right, now you can see up here it's recording. I'm actually talking over the music, but that's fine. Um, so I'd say, welcome. This is Mr. Rogers' podcast. Today we're going to be talking about SoundCloud, screencast somatic, and other top tech features to end out your school year. Blah, blah, blah. Hopefully with me. If I have a friend, they can join in and talk too, and you'll have a great podcast. All right, I'm going to stop that. It'll process. You can go back and listen to it. And also remember a key tip, major key, as DJ Khaled would say, would be spacebar is play and stop. Okay. So now we have some music and a podcast. As you can tell, the audio quality is not great on this. I didn't hook up my Yeti microphone. That would be my other main recommendation is to get a USB microphone so that you get a little higher quality sound recording. But that's the basics on how to do that. 
When you're done, just hit save. And the way I have my students do, they'll download it and then upload it to SoundCloud where they can embed their projects on their websites. Thanks for tuning in for Mr. Rogers Screencast.